Right guys, on the latest update of um, PC SX2, the PlayStation 2 emulator, it can now run ZSO files. ZSO are compressed ISO files, and they do save a lot of room. I've done black, which was four and a half gigs, and it's now 1.5. And Ratchet and Clank didn't compress that much. Endgame was 2.5 gigs and Burnout 3 was 2.5 I think so I'll show you how to do it and it will save you a hell of a lot of space you know the amount of ROMs and stuff I've got on my computer I've got to do the GameCube ones to convert them to arm and really to save space <coughs> but this is how you do the PlayStation 2 ones I tried a couple of other programs but they didn't work on Windows 11 so First of all, it will load up the instructions for you. All you have is these two, just instructions and the program. But the program you've got to run from command. So, if you type here at your address bar, CMD, open that up. And the first line you want to copy is that one but leave a space at the end so copy and paste it into here make sure that space is there on the ROMs you might not see the ISO at the end but you need that so to see that at the end go to your start type in folder options you've got file explorer options you go to view go to display full path in the title bar I've got all these highlighted and I've also got show hidden files folders and drives it's, it's easier to find stuff that way like the temp folders and then just go apply and OK and this will appear the ISO we have to rename this you can't have any spaces in the actual name oh. otherwise it will not work properly and once you've got rid of all the spaces copy that and just paste it in there and push it enter I don't know why I've got to keep having a refresh to see me files sometimes. See, that hasn't saved a lot on that one, 1 1.7 compared to 1.9. So we do another one. With the space. And we do Hyper Street Fighter 2. And if the title's too long. It can mess up as well, so. I'm just gonna put T H E there. A E anniversary collection. Actually, it doesn't really matter because the emulator picks up what file it is anyway. I'm going to copy all that. Okay. Okay, Matt, you go first. Oh. Paste. What? Okay, if only the rubber is I don't think that's the space there. You can find out. Alright, refresh. That was some of these are coming out really crap, man.
I'm hoping this one does it better. I only saved 300 meg on that one as well. A lot of them I saved a hell of a lot, but I haven't saved a lot on them. Right, so I'm going to move them back in a second now. Right, now I've done all my ROMs. I kept the um, smaller ones, the bin files. I could convert them to ISOs, but I thought, no, no point. Out of all of them, I saved probably out of 40 gig, I saved about 8 gig, that's all. So, not a great deal. You know, the first few I'd done were better. But I still was saving them a little bit, so I'll put up the video anyway in case you want to compress them. You know, it will save you a bit of space, but overall, not that much. So I saved probably about 20% uh, on space. Cheers, guys. I actually forgot to show you how they do work. So we got black, which is now in ZSO. My atomizing prepared. You know what we should have done? We should have filled that with some blue bottles. There you go, that one works. Gamers don't compromise. Oh! Midnight Club 3, which a lot of people enjoy. <laughs> which is now 4 gig instead of 8. I'm not going to lie. This actually is I'm moist. I'm like, also moist. Like, look, describe your moisture. I, I would, on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe. So there you go, guys. Uh, they they do run. So, cheers.